They say, hey, you're gonna practice like you play, or your perfect practice makes perfect play. He's that type of dude. That's it, tight, now get vertical, get up, finish. Get up, finish, there you go. Get it. Yeah, his first game really getting some time against UCLA, had an interception in the end zone, kind of sealed the deal. Francis Bernard, the BYU transfer, stepped in front. You now from that point on, it was okay, you're, you're us. As Francis settled into his role on a new team, his path off the field was about to take a dramatic turn. When did you find out you were pregnant? She had woken me up and she's like, I'm pregnant. And I kind of just thought it was a dream because I was sleeping. I'm like, all right, whatever. I fell asleep and then a couple days later, it really hit me and I was freaking out. For 23 weeks, the expectant parents enjoyed an uneventful pregnancy until one terrifying night. I'd love if you can go back in time for us a little bit to the fall of last year. Yeah. You happened to be at Harriman High School. Mm -hmm. What was going on that night? My back was hurting, it had started to get cold. I thought that it was just the weather making me like not feel good. And then I just felt like I couldn't really breathe and I just started to like run like to the car. I've never been in more pain. I was just trying to breathe through it. I got light flighted to the University of Utah Hospital. Doctors told Alexis that she had barely avoided a stroke, but the baby's life was still in jeopardy. It was like a 20% chance that our son was gonna survive, and so hearing that, I was just, I pretty much just lost hope. I'm like, man, we're gonna lose my son. Like, um, my bad. Uh, 